Next, you go to eye cream. Mm, I'm obsessed with my eye cream, and, like, there's just no way. I'm so scared of wrinkles, as you can tell, that it's ridiculous. So, first, I'm going to show you. This is just a little sample bottle of Vichy Laboratories. This is L'Oreal's, like, um, designer line. I worked at the dermatology convention in New Orleans uh, last year, and so I worked for the Vichy booth, so we got, like, these samples. Uh, this is pretty pricey, so obviously, you know, I think that it's worth it in eye cream. So you go, this is the Vichy Lift Active Retinol HA um, eye cream. Total anti-wrinkle renovating eye care, okay? This is the freaking smallest bottle ever. It's like three milliliters. It's actually lasted me a while. You can find um, sample kits of Vichy. On Amazon, I always say Amazon because I just use it, probably on eBay, just whatever you use. Um, you can buy off of their website the actual products, and then you can also buy in Dwayne Reed. They have, like, the ones with the beauty bars, they have Beachy products there. I love Beachy. Like, I had never even heard of it before. Um, I like L'Oreal as it is. Like, I think they're great for a, a drugstore brand. Uh, but Vichy, I was like, what the heck is that? And then everyone's like, oh my god, Vichy! Like, they were giving out little things, uh, with this. It had, like, four other things in it. People were, like, sniping them like crazy. Like, oh, where's the Vichy? Where's the Vichy? I'm like, oh lord, I should get on my stuff. So I looked it all up. It's great. It's fantastic. And it really worked for me. Like, I feel like I'll die if I don't use this. But, um, I swapped between this one and, uh, this other one, which is the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Eye. I had the one in the jar, which was, like, a little more intense, apparently, and I feel like they work the same. That one was more expensive. This is, um, this actually came with my Clarisonic kit that I got, um, last Christmas, so it's a sample bottle, but it's fantastic. It's great. It's really great. Um, I can't live without it. We lost it when we moved, and I was like, Sarah, where's my eye cream? I need it. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. I was like, I'm going to have to spend, like, $50. It's like, uh, for this one, I believe it's, uh, like $60. It's between $50 and $60. But I'm, you know, like I said, 10 times I'm going to put it under there. But it's Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Eye Cream. I love all Peter Thomas Roth stuff. Yeah, you like those nails? You like that? I love all Peter Thomas Roth stuff. He is a genius, but he is a little expensive. So you need to chill out, Peter. Pete. Um, just, I use that every day, like religiously, morning and night. Sometimes in between. It makes my um, under eye concealer go on really well. It's kind of, it almost, like any eye cream really, it's just kind of like a primer and a um, eye cream. Like who wants, do you want crow's feet? I don't. Try it. I mean it's freaking an investment. It'll last you forever. Um, lastly, before, the second to last thing, um, moisturizers. Like I've been biatching about the whole time. Um, the cheaper version of what I use is the L'Oreal Revitalift. Deep Set Wrinkle Repair Day. I um, I you should always use a thicker moisturizer at night just because it settles in your skin longer. Yada da da da. This has lasted me forever. Um, it's really not that cheap actually because L'Oreal came out with the Revitalift line. Uh, this was like 18 bucks I think, but it's seriously lasted me forever. If you buy this, don't forget to close it after each time you use it because it decreases the um the hyaluronic acid and the retinol and all that stuff. Uh, this is just a day cream. It has SPF in it, SPF 15. I use this. I alternate with the Vichy because I'm like, I don't want to run out. But I had all these Vichy kits that I got from the um, convention, and everyone I gave it to, they were like, oh, my God, give me, do you have any more of that stuff? It's so great. It's so wonderful. Um, retinol and hyaluronic acid, any day cream you use, you want it to have that in it because that will change your skin's life. Like, if you go and buy the cheapest thing that has it, it's still going to work for you, I guarantee you, because... That's really the ingredient that makes everything worthwhile. Um, so, yeah, the L'Oreal. My other day cream that I alternate with is uh, running out. I have a ton of these, but lift, uh, the Vichy Lift Active Retinol with Hyaluronic Acid on um, Total Anti-Wrinkle Daily Intervention. It's got SPF 18. Stepping its game up from the L'Oreal. So, um, it's, this is a really small bottle. You can buy this. Um, they, the Vichy products that I'm showing all run between, like, I think 20-ish and 50, 60-ish, but, like I said, I'll put it in there so you can see, um, I haven't even, I looked it up the first time, and I know that it runs between that range, but I was like, yep, I'm never going to be able to buy this stuff again, but, yeah, 
I've been using the samples like a freaking weirdo. Um, the Vici, my night cream is the Vici Lift Active Retinol Hyaluronic Acid Total Anti-Wrinkle Plumping Care Night Cream. It's in a little cute blue bottle, like the sun and the sky and all that stuff, the moon. Um, same thing, just a night cream. Uh, retinol, hyaluronic acid, blah, 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 blah. Works great. And it actually, um, retinol, they put in Retin-A Micro and Tazerac cream and stuff for your pimples. And they say that, that those creams, if you use them, they fight wrinkles. That's because it has retinol in it. Hello. And if you have oily skin and you put retinol on your face, guess what? It's going to keep your skin more matte and not as dry. It's great. Like, just try it. I'm telling you, like, whatever. Last thing I'm showing is Philosophy, um, the Micro Delivery Purifying Peel. I think that everyone should use a peel. Um, I'm just a little crazy. I just go over, like, above and beyond. This is the One Minute Purifying Enzyme Peel. Um, I love Philosophy. I love their face wash. I love uh, their eye cream. It's got great reviews also. It's a little pricier. It's not no pricier than uh, Peter Thomas Roth by any means. And you can get a lot of Philosophy kits. Um, for cheaper with a bunch of stuff in them. So I would definitely, if you have never tried the philosophy line, you should try it. Um, this is just a great peel that I use. They have peel pads as well. It looks, this is a sample. I think this actually came with my stuff last year too. Um, this is a little baby bottle. They have this one. Um, Dr. Brandt has a peel. Um, Dr. Doctor, all these doctors like Denise. I'm gonna post a couple in the bottom that I love that are have the pads like one step and two step. Even Philosophy has the pads, but I just like this because it's a gel. I put it on. I feel the burn. I take it off. The Brazilian um Brazilian peel that just came out in Sephora too. It's like 72 bucks for these um, little capsules or whatever, um, syringes of it. That really works, but actually I don't find that it works as great as this. It's like a, um, I just like to see a peeling. Like, it's not a chemical peel, like a grade uh, A, like a dermatology office would use, but I mean, it's pretty much the closest thing you can get. And I use this once a week. Sometimes I don't, but I mean, I try to use it once a week, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so that is all I use. Um... <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to use, Louise. But yeah, so you always, the, the steps are simple. No matter what you're using, you need to take your freaking makeup off, aka wash your face, um, moisture, uh, okay, moisturize, eye cream, night cream or day cream, whatever your, you know, day and night is different. I think you should use day and night. You can use the same thing day and night, I don't care, but you just do yourself a favor and put some freaking moisturizer on your face, and also if you put a few drops of foundation or concealer, I use concealer, mixed in with your moisturizer, I just like that, it's like a tinted moisturizer, because I feel like tinted moisturizers are just a waste of money, you can make them yourself with the product you already like, and it looks, I don't know, I just feel like it looks better when I do it, sorry, um, but yeah, don't forget to exfoliate, two, three, four times a week. Alternate. Don't do it like two days in a row or anything. Do it like every other day or something. I usually do it every two days or every other day. It depends on how greasy I feel. You will notice the difference and your makeup will go on better and you will just feel like a champion. So do it. And that's all I got to say.